Before Manny Pacquiao battles Shane Mosley May 7th in Las Vegas, fans will be treated to a sensational undercard. The first features Mexican legend Jorge Arce, a veteran of 15 title fights. Arce has amassed three belts in three divisions, placing him among an elite group of Mexican fighters. Has survived the bloody war. Now Arce will try to surpass them all by winning a fourth title in four divisions. But standing in his way is up and coming Puerto Rican champion, Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. Vasquez Jr. is something of a prodigy, the son and namesake of a three division champion. He has no amateur experience. A fact that didn't prevent him from winning a junior featherweight world title. Yeah, my papa fue pues, fue un gran campeón. Mis respetos, todo lo que han visto en el cuadrilátero es eh, es fruto de su enseñanza. The 26-year-old will need to leverage all his abilities against the formidable Arce. He found that body shot we've been looking for. Three times. Last year, another formidable Mexican champion, Humberto Soto, faced his toughest challenge yet. The fearless lightweight, Urbano Antillon. From the outset, it was a riveting thriller of a fight. One that featured frequent bloody exchanges. By the final bell, many observers had already begun considering it for fight of the year honors. As an exhausted but victorious Soto retained his title by unanimous decision. Before their first encounter, Soto predicted he would triumph. Now the two will go at it again. In order to win, Antillon has to correct a pair of costly mistakes. One, refrain from giving away the round at the end. And two, avoid Soto's deadly accurate uppercut. Antillon's trainer, Abel Sanchez, has been working hard to make these adjustments. And Sanchez vows the fight won't go the distance on May 7th in Las Vegas. We're not gonna let it get to the scorecard this time. Uh, hopefully uh, somewhere, around, somewhere around the ninth, uh, tenth round, uh, Urbano will have warm on and stop. Another former world champion is looking to regain the form that earned him 2007 Fight of the Year honors. Youngstown, Ohio's Kelly Pavlik captured the world middleweight title and the sporting world's imagination when he knocked out previously undefeated middleweight champion Jermaine Taylor. Pavlik met Taylor again in 2008 and was once again triumphant, solidifying his status as one of boxing's top pound-for-pound -pound fighters. Pavlik defended his middleweight crown three times, all by knockout. For Kelly, his biggest battles over the past 18 months have actually been outside the ropes. A year ago, he fought off a near-fatal staph infection on his left hand. Then he had to face the toughest fight of his life against alcohol. After successful stints in rehab, Pavlik looks to put 2010 in his rearview mirror and focus on regaining his stature as one of boxing's most popular attractions. On May 7th, the 29-year-old will step up a division to battle the undefeated Alfonso Lopez. While Lopez will seek to continue climbing the ranks, Pavlik hopes to open a new chapter in his career, one that sees him returning to the world stage and to boxing glory.